Hello, and welcome to the Data and Brief webinar series. This webinar is on data repositories. My name is Dennis Lentverink. I am a scientific editor for Data and Brief, and in this webinar, I'm going to explain what data repositories are and how to store your data. In this presentation, I will first give an introduction to Data and Brief, then I will talk about data repositories, then I will tell you how to select the right repository for your data, then I will give an example of how to upload your data to a repository. Then I will talk about common pitfalls when uploading data to a repository. And I will end this presentation with a take home message. First, an introduction to Data in Brief. Data in Brief is a multidisciplinary, open access, peer reviewed journal, which publishes short, digestible data articles that describe and provide access to research data. Data in Brief has two editors in chief. Dr. Nicholas Pullen and Dr. Noemi Zinkovic. Data in Brief contributes to open science and supports fair data principles, improving reproducibility by making data and the associated research more discoverable, opening doors for collaboration, and reducing duplication of effort. For more information about Data in Brief, I refer to the links at the bottom of the slide. By publishing data articles, Data in Brief contributes to open data. Open data is a key pillar of open science. Open science benefits research and society and drives research performance. Why? Because open science helps collaboration between researchers. It also facilitates access to data and research output, which in turn makes research more inclusive by removing paywalls and access controls. Finally, by making research and data transparent, it contributes to research integrity and reducibility. Overall, Open science is a key for science and society. In more practical terms, publicly funded research projects are increasingly viewed as a public good. Funding bodies increasingly require a data management and sharing plan. This is also true for many journals and collaborating institutions as they start requiring the free sharing and reuse of data. Open science rests on the FAIR principles. In more details, the FAIR principles are four. Data should be findable, which means that as a researcher, you should be able to find the metadata and data easily if you search in a data repository. Accessible, once you have found the data, it should be easily accessible and downloadable, ideally without needing authorization. But in some cases, pertaining sensitive data, control mechanisms might be necessary. Interoperable, when you have these data, they should be in a format that facilitates integrating them with other data and using them via a number of softwares. And finally, now that you have found, accessed and used the data, the data should be described well enough to be easily re replicated and combined in different settings, making them reusable. To support the FAIR principles, Data and Brief requires all raw data to be uploaded to a repository. Now, what are data repositories? Data repositories are databases to store and share data. In appropriate repositories, the uploaded and finalized data will have a unique digital object identifier, or DOI, assigned to it, making the data findable and accessible. In case of an update to the dataset, a new version may be uploaded that will get a unique DOI. This ensures that previous versions remain accessible whilst allowing datasets to be amended. Since Data in Brief finds open science of paramount importance, uploading data to a repository and providing the DOI is mandatory for publication in Data in Brief. Sharing data in a repository contributes to open science and specifically benefits authors, reviewers and readers. For authors, sharing data in a repository helps them communicate their data more clearly. Data shared in a repository makes the data transparent resulting in higher rigor and confidence. Additionally, sharing data helps assign credit where credit is due. The researchers who have produced a given dataset by sharing it via a repository that will assign a DOI to the dataset can get credit for their hard work. Also, by sharing and describing data, authors can help other researchers formulate new research questions and advance scientific progress. During the review process, Sharing data in a repository improves review quality by increased transparency. For readers, sharing data in a repository facilitates reproducibility and replicability. 
conducting meta-analytic reviews, and grade inclusiveness by barrier reduction. Knowing how important data repositories are is the first step, but how do you select the right data repository for your data? You might need guidance on how to choose the most appropriate repository that complies with fair data sharing requirements and with respect to the nature of your field and your data. There are thousands of repositories where you can share raw data, ranging from general to specialized repositories. The first step in choosing appropriate repository is to identify them in a registry of research data repositories of which we here share the URL. You should then consider the subject area, sharing capabilities, permanent links, storage limits and time span, and the reputation in the community and versioning when choosing a repository from this list. If possible, Data and Brief strongly recommends authors to use a specialized repository. It has to be noted that not all repositories are suitable. A suitable repository distinguishes themselves from an unsuitable repository by assigning a DOI and allowing to download the data or provide a data usage agreement. To help guide authors, we provided a safe list of 92 repositories, both generalist and specialist, that are frequently used in a wide range of fields. You can access this safe list by clicking on the provided URL. Although we encourage authors to use one of these safe list repositories, this list is not exhaustive and we offer guidelines to authors if they wish to choose a different repository. Such guidelines include that the site must provide a DOI, be able to handle the storage datasets, and provide solutions to keep track of different versions of a given dataset. Please reach out to us if you would like to use an unlisted repository for your data and brief submission, and we would be happy to help. After identifying an appropriate repository, how do you upload your data? Here, we provide an example. Now let's take Scientist X as an example. Scientist X is a cell biologist that has data on the proliferation and differentiation of cells, consisting of images and an Excel file, which they want to describe in a data and brief manuscript. The first action taken by Scientist X is to visit the data and brief repository guidelines. Via these guidelines, they found that a generalist repository is most suitable for their data. Since their data is not larger than 10 gigabytes, they pick Mendeley data for uploading their data. To upload your data on Mendeley data, go to data.mendeley.com in the browser of your choice. At the top of your screen, you see two options, one to create an account and one to sign into an existing account. Log into your account after creating your account. Upon logging in, you see an option to create a data set. Click on this option. Give your data set a title and create the data set. Your data set with a given title will now appear. You can now add contributors, in other words, co-authors, and provide a description of the data. When you scroll down, you will see an option to upload files. Upload your data files by browsing or drag and drop the folder with your research data. When you then scroll further down, you can change the license, the institution, the department, the category for the data, add funding information, steps to reproduce, date of data collection, nature of the data, and related links. If you are satisfied, you can click publish. Before you publish, you have to mark the checkboxes and click publish again. You will get a notification that your dataset is now under moderation and you will be redirected to a draft version of your dataset. It will say on the top that it is in draft, that the DOI is reserved and that you can cite this draft dataset. Please be advised that a draft dataset is not publicly available until it is approved by the moderator. Moderation can take up to 24 hours and is performed by Mendeley Data. Please only submit your manuscript to Data and Brief when the dataset is finalized and published. In other words, not in draft. 
In the last section of this presentation, I want to mention some of the more common pitfalls that authors can make. At Data in Brief, we often see datasets that have not been finalized. A dataset will be saved in draft until the author clicks on Publish. Sometimes, authors deposit their data on storage entities that are not appropriate repositories. Examples of this are some institutional data servers and Google Drive. Another pitfall is that sometimes sensitive data is shared. This includes images of identifiable biometrics. If necessary, this may be circumvented with a data usage agreement. Lastly, sometimes the data on a repository is copyrighted, meaning that figures and images are already published elsewhere and should not be reproduced. Here at the end of this webinar, I have some take home messages for you. The first one is that data repositories are warehouses for your data that provide storage and sharing abilities, therefore contributing to open science. Second, sharing data and data repositories benefits authors, reviewers, and readers. And third, not all data repositories are suitable. Elsevier has a safe list of approved repositories. I want to thank you for your attention in this webinar. The last slide of this webinar contains links to useful websites. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out to the editorial office of Data in Brief at dib-me at elsevier.com. Thank you.